there, boys and girls. John Deere lovers. Nice hot day today. I'm going to cut the grass. I got something special that I'm going to put on my John Deere today. What do you think it is? This is an original John Deere sun canopy. Officially John Deere licensed product. We're going to open this up quick and see how easy and fun it is to put it on. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's things in there. Whoa! <laughs> See, because the John Deere has holes from the factory for things like this up here and back here. But I think I'm only gonna use the rear ones for this sun canopy. Beautiful day, isn't it? I'm hungry too. Let's open this up. I can the sunshine. Oh, that looks more official. The unboxing. Look. Classic sun canopy. More tape. More box. Ooh. Looks like that tent I slept in last week. So far it's easy. Stay there a minute. Oh yeah. And it comes with a fishing pole. <laughs> It's old fishing pole. Ah. Ooh. Uh oh, I see instructions. You know what I say about that. Ain't no stinking instructions. That's a pretty thick book, too. Poor fishing pole. Alright, how hard can it be? Oh. Look at the destructions, Manuel. Well, half of it's in alien. Good. I hope the I hope it's just a short amount of reading and pictures. I like the pictures better. Oh, here we go. Tools needed, 13 millimeter and 14 millimeter box wrenches, 13 and 14 sockets, 10 millimeter nut driver, three millimeter Allen wrench. I don't think so. Let's see. Begin at the beginning. Working from the underside of the tractor deck. Oh no, 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 no. Send it back. Attach the bottom mounting plate to the existing cargo mount screws with the included nylock nuts. All right, I know what that is. This is here. Too much time on my hands. Too much time. Sometimes they give you a little Allen wrench, remember? All right, come back here and I'll show you where these are going. That goes there. This is where I need some wrenches, I guess. All right, I got the wrenches it called for. And see the holes that are already here and there's two screws there? Well, this goes underneath onto the screws that are already there and they get a locking nut underneath. Underneath. See? It's easy. 
they're there. Two screws sticking down right here. Yep, goes up. They go on easy. See up there? I don't know if you can see it very good. Over here, see the hole? And there's two screws next to it. That's how it goes on. Now I need a 10 millimeter to tighten that up. Okay, there's two screws coming down here. And this fits up underneath 10 millimeter locking nuts going underneath. I got them hand tight and I'm gonna finish them off with this. It's hard to see under here, so I'm just gonna do it. That's easy. Don't even have to look at it. Ooh, tight. Tight, all right. Do the same thing on this side. Under, get around the factory screws and tighten them. I suppose this is the hardest part of the whole deal. <laughs> Only because I'm on the ground. Working upside down. Don't even have to look up there. Start it with your finger and tighten up. Tighten. Tight. That's all right. All right. Step two. Always read the instructions. Locate the right upper post, left upper post, upper crossbar, and lower crossbar. What about the fishing pole? That must be this heavy stuff here. <laughs> Ho! It won't take long. Be patient. We're going to be mowing in style. I wonder if they're lettered. Oh, oh, they are. They're lettered. R for Rick. And this is L for Louie. Hey, Louie. Didn't know you'd be helping me. And they got the little clips. They are like the tents. They got the little clips. And the little clips. And clips there too, sideways. It's gonna be easy. Oh, me there goes that fishing pole again. All right, what did it say? I located them, now what? Locate the right upper post. Arr, that's not it. Arr. The R fell off. Arr. There's the R. Locate the right upper post, left upper post, upper crossbar, and lower crossbar. 
Ain't no was upper, was lower. Okay, I located them now. Insert the lower crossbar into the bottom stub tube of the upper right and left posts. Right upper. Okay. See that? Let's see. This is pretty easy. It's curved that way. Got a notch and a pin there, see? Snaps into place. And then, it's goes the same way this way. We're getting there, look. It's almost a tent. Push that in. Snaps. Oh, here come the fishing poles. Connect the two halves of the upper crossbar, flexing the fiberglass rod. Insert the crossbar into the upper post stubs, one side at a time. Jeez, I said, no way I see this happening yet. I don't know where these go. I have no idea. Okay, see that curve? The picture looks like the curve is the opposite way, but we put it this way and it fits better. And then you take this fiberglass Put it in that way on the top. Put it in this way. Stretch it out and lock them together. It's easy. It is like a tent pole. And that's that. Okay, so that's together. Now, you take the <laughs> one marked right for R. Put this down in the hole back here. See how it has a clip right there? That's going to clip in the bottom of this. And they swing this way for adjustment, see? So, this goes here. It's going to be pretty high. And this left one goes here. This goes in there. And this has this little pin that lines up in the hole here. See the hole? Do this first. Boy, I'm glad this came with instructions. Oh yeah, that's tight. Look at this. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, almost time for the convertible top to go on. What's next in the instructions? All right, I was getting ahead of myself a little. I see these go here, these go here. But the instructions say, open the canopy, because we got to slide these in, you know? Oh. Look at this. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice back window. <laughs> so the birds don't get me. All right, it's open. Now what? Okay, so let's just say this and then you can cut it out. G, H, and P. The longer holes, G, they're called sidebars. They're black. H is the right. Yeah. P is the skin. So connect the front two holes together with the attached Elastic. PVC tube. Okay. 
complete the pole, complete pole will have a metal tip on both ends. Okay. Feed the front hoop poles through the tunnel on the underside of the canopy skin. All right. Okay. You see how this has a little PVC pipe there for flex? The instructions say connect it like that. So it has a lot of flex, see? And then you feed it through. Just like the tent. So it comes out the other side. More like a curtain rod. Whichever comes first. Don't worry boys, we're gonna be riding soon. Hang in there. So it comes at the end. Now space this out nice and even. We'll adjust it more when it's in full position. Okay. Oh yeah. Now, hooey. Adjust the skin to the middle of the front hoop so the ends of the hoop extend out of the skin tunnel. When, the, when joining rods, ensure the ends pass through the PVC sleeve and insert fully into the metal connector. Failure to connect rods will be damage to the So are these going up here? Alright, I know this is pretty far ahead, but I just kind of put it together to make sure everything was there. This strap should have been on this cross member here. So you could tighten that up. It's like magic, right? <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you what I did. Put that back in the hole. Nice. Okay, what we did here was, remember that piece that had that flex? The rubber flex, the white posts? That went in there, and then the two long ones went in here. The two long black fishing pole looking things. Right here, right here. And we snug these up. I'm sorry I skipped ahead, but once I got going, <laughs> I, just, I just put it in place because it was so easy and I didn't want to take it back apart. Tighten them up. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, you think, boys? <laughs> what should we do now? Take it for a ride? Yes. Let's pick up all our stuff. I had to have help. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, the last thing you could do is mount this permanently by coming around back here. I don't think I want it mounted permanently. It's not going anywhere because it's pretty tight down here. See, because they're tight in those holes. But put that through, put a big washer and nut underneath, and it's not going nowhere. But right now it's not going anywhere. Unless you do a lot of, I don't know, it might flex. Yeah, I could put them on. But it's easy just to take off too. I got a lot of low branches. We're gonna trim some low branches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So if you didn't mount it permanently with those big screws, you could pop it off and on easily. Maybe you only want to use it on a sunny day or if you're in a big open field or you got some low branches like I do. So that actually took about 20 minutes because we had to figure it out, but it shouldn't take that long. That's not bad though. Let's test drive it, okay? Let me put my tools away quick. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Look at it. I hope it rains now. <laughs> you don't think my head wasn't bigger, I'd be popped out like Dino, huh?
Eat, eat, eat. You love it? Like I do? <laughs> what do you think, boys? Gonna get one of these for your mower? Just hold an umbrella like Mr. Magoo while you're driving. Come on, rain! <laughs> nice screen in the back. You see the John Deere logo back there? help me put it together. Mm -hmm. I, need, I didn't need help putting it together, just figuring it out. <laughs> Where should I go now? Let's go get some pizza. Thanks for watching. Check out my John Deere playlist for about 30 more John Deere videos. I'll put a link there. 67 hours. Going good. Five years now, right? John Deere D105. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Oh my god!